Ladies and gentlemen from your respective fields, if you please, would you like to follow the race by riding with journalists and judges in that train over there? We have provided services such as tea, wine, and dining in the coaches. Oh, and here are some binoculars. Please feel free to use them. The fireworks are up. That's the starting signal. 10 a.m. September 25th, 1890. The Trans North American Steel Ball Run has finally begun. Over 3,600 horses, and there is no mass confusion among the participants. The starting grid stretches over four kilometers. Slowly, as if waves of the Pacific Ocean crawled onto land, all are running at once. Fellow journalists, I will now describe the development of the race and routes. Between the 6,000 kilometers from San Diego to New York and the Atlantic Ocean, there are checkpoints in nine places, including New York, as shown on this map. These checkpoints are to identify race ranking, running time, and to check for illegal activities such as changing horses. Each race, up to their respective checkpoints, will be called a stage. Nine stages in total. The first stage that has just started is a sprint race and will end at the Catholic Church 15,000 meters ahead. We will also decide the champion of each stage and present a prize money bonus. To the stage champion, $10,000 and one hour time bonus. A time bonus? That means... Correct. It will be very useful in the last half of the race. That means, for instance, if you have a bonus and you pass the goal in New York in second place, but you are less than one hour behind first place, then you will be the winner. In other words, your total time is decreased by an hour. But this time bonus, everyone will be drooling over it. But this race goes for over two months with only one horse. Going hard on the horse right from the start and charging into the front line would be something to think over. You could easily break your horse right away. Oh? While we were listening to the commentary, one horse jumped ahead of the group of 3600. Who is it? We're checking his saddlecloth. He's fast. He's fast. He's speeding up at an incredible rate. Unbelievable speed. It's incredible. Incredible. The first stage is quickly turning into something unexpected. He's not slowing down. What's the number on that saddlecloth? The saddlecloth. The number is B636. Identified as B636. Zappelli. Recorded as Gyro Zappelli. Incredible racing number B636. Gyro Zappelli has left the group. Racing solo. He's trying to make a clean getaway for the full 15,000 meters. He's still speeding up. Who is he? I don't know. There's no record. He could be a cowboy. Or a miner. He... He's planning to charge here? J. Rosapelli. The horse he's riding on is a stock horse. I've heard they have Australian roots and amazing stamina. Is he relying on that stamina here? But it's 15,000 meters. We'll definitely tire out in the later half. And there's a race tomorrow too. Going forward after 13,000 would be reasonable. But racing at that speed? Is he really thinking about crossing the continent like that? No. He said he'll win the race to cross the continent and become the champion. It leaned. The other horses are becoming agitated because he jumped out of the group. Oh no! A collision has occurred. They're running into each other. It's finally looking like a race now. Still, body charging is not against the rules. Cowboys control herds of cattle by dodging their charges. Dodging charges is a must. And now, there is another challenger against Gyro Zappelli. Another one has jumped out of the group. He's chasing, he's chasing, he's chasing and closing in on Gyro. It's Diego Brando. The prince of the British horse racing world plans to challenge, as if he's saying short range racing is my territory. No, wait, there's already... There's already someone closing in from behind and to the left. Zappelli is in his range. He's already closing in. The large mass is the champion candidate Erm Avdol on camelback. He charged. 
The camels run. It looks like it's in slow motion, but its legs are twice the length of a horse's. And its stride, it can accelerate enough to compete with the speed of a horse. And its weight surpasses 800 kilograms. That's 1.5 times heavier than a horse. He's planning to go for the gold by crushing anyone that gets near him. Another hit. Gyro is losing speed. Diego Brando has taken advantage of this slack and goes forward. Forward. He's going into the grove. No, he'll get caught in between the trees. Huh? Gyro's leaning. If anyone is getting the time bonus, it's me, Avdol. I'm sorry to say. The final blow. The deadly camels run. The deadly desert nomad, Ermd Avdol. He's closing in again. He can't hold off anymore. He'll be struck down. Gyro's a Pelly. No, he lunged. It's cacti. Abdol lunged into a cluster of cacti. <laughs> Did he not see it because they were blocked by the grove? The camel charged into the cacti. He collapsed. It's a fall. A fall, he's fallen. Armed Abdol is down. Gyro is safe. Gyro is unhurt. Gyro has not charged into the cacti. He's eliminated. What a start. The first stage. They haven't even run for a thousand meters. And what a flurry of events. Ermd Avdol. He's not moving. He's been eliminated. A champion candidate has already been eliminated from the race. What just happened? What just happened? The steel ball. Was it because of the steel ball again? The spinning steel. The cacti's image showed in the dust of the rocks. The vibrations caused by the spin? Was he using the shockwaves to find the position of the cactus without being able to see it? He used the waves from the rotation to search behind the rock, just like you'd knock on a watermelon to observe the insides. He lured Avdol into that cacti patch! Whatever I can get, I'll take. Except for diseases, but especially a time bonus. No! <laughs> Heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me home. Gather round her, miner's lady, stranger to blue water, dark and dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrops in. 